uh, which students report a higher than average budget? Well, that's kind of a neat question. We, we don't have to change much though. You would think we do, but it's not really that big of a difference. We're still outputting their full name. Oh, we're going to do full name instead of proper name now. I'll leave the proper name in anyway. We're going to sort by last name and then by first name, so we'll worry about sorting afterwards. We'll leave the budget in. Um, and we're reporting a higher than average budget. Well, their budget is greater than something. And what is it greater than? Well, it's greater than what the average budget is. So we can just change this to average. Notice that this is just following a formula, right? We put in a query that gives us one output, one piece of information from the same table, and then compare it to the data that we're getting the information on. So these both say act budget, but we're just changing this right here, and we have to make sure we have a full select query inside of these brackets. Look up, and we, you can see that we follow the same pattern. We're doing budget against budget, registration date against registration date, and so on. It's just that in these subqueries, we're using aggregate functions to get derived data. Forgetting to do this sorting seems to be becoming tradition for me. I apologize for that. Um, I'm just kind of slipping this in in between uh, some future code I've already done in the video. So it'll be in the right order for you, but I've got a little bit of code that looks like I've already done. Don't worry, we're going to get to that in a moment. Um, I just forgot to do the sort by last name, then by first name. And so how do we sort? Um, we've done this a few times, but I'd like to go over it again from time to time. Um, when we're sorting, uh, let me get this comment back up where it belongs at the end of that part of the line. Notice that I've taken the semicolon out and I move it down because semicolon should be at the end of my select statement. My select statement includes all my clauses, right? So I have an order by clause right here. That's how I sort. And then it says by last name and then by first name. All I have to do is put in last name, comma, act first name. All right. Yes, you could use a plus sign in this case, but not in every case. So get in the habit of using the commas instead if you can help it. Um, if I wanted to do, you know, uh, if I wanted to do from the latest last name in the alphabet, I'd use descending, but we want to do it in ascending order, which is the default, but you could type it in um, if you wanted to by hand. Uh, there is a small chance that somebody sets up their server wrong, so that it's descending by default, and so you have to say ascending every time. Now you know how to do it. Okay. Uh, so now I've got this ordered. You can see that because we're using proper name, which is last name, comma, first name, uh, we have B's and then C's and then F's going all the way down in alphabetical order.